I love how this week's episode was about them not getting facelifts, but this chick can barely move her face and has so much filler. <laughs> and this is the promo picture for it, like, yeah. absolutely hate and just like that despise it but i swear to god if they do not renew that series i'm gonna be livid wait what the hell oh that's better i thought i had shit on my screen for a second So good, Carrie, get in here. Call for help. John! Carrie, 911 now. Stat, he's about to lose his pulse. Honey, help me. Carrie, he's unconscious, not breathing. Chest compressions, chest compressions, chest compressions. One episode into Sex in the City reboot. And just like that, what the fuck? Spoiler alert, Samantha that we know and love would have never moved to London because of a falling out with Carrie. Importantly, Samantha would have never been so upset or prideful if Carrie fired her because it didn't make sense for her business. Samantha's really smart. There's absolutely no way that she would have broken up a friendship over that. For example, remember when Carrie needed money and Samantha was like, oh, I'll lend it to you. No problem. Illustrating that Samantha knows what makes financial sense and she loves Carrie. If Carrie was like, oh, it doesn't make sense for the book business anymore, Samantha would have been like, okay, bummer, I'm here if you need me. There is no fucking way that prideful, amazing, smart, cool Samantha would have been like, oh my God, like I'm so embarrassed I'm moving to London. I would have preferred if they killed off Samantha. Like that would have made more sense rather than trying to change her character when we all know and love her. There is just no way that the Samantha we know and love would have done this behavior. Kim's prerogative she didn't want to be in it but they did not have to do her this sturdy surprise it's your favorite person with your favorite cookies che, it's Rambo I am craving me some che is someone in there did you meet someone in Cleveland at your comedy concert I'm sorry I shouldn't have come I thought I was Meg Ryan in Sleepless in Seattle Am I your girlfriend? Are we dating? Oh, no. I'm here. I don't want traditional. I want you. I'm being spontaneous. I ditched the script. I'm doing improv now. It's Rambo, okay? Okay, I actually had a brain blast this morning after I made that video. I was like, I know how they could redeem the entire Sex and the City reboot. If the next episode in the series, the third one, was just 45 minutes of the entire cast finding Jack Berger and slapping him across the face for 45 minutes, I think it could be, in my eyes, redeemed. I'm extremely confused. You're confused. I'm fucking confused, bro. Don't worry, I'm not gonna subject it by stand up. Oh, thank God. It's much worse. What does that mean? I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy, unless, of course, we're talking about my enemy, Gwyneth Paltrow. Fuck you, Gwyneth Paltrow. You. Ha! You want to book Che Diaz, literally my busiest client. They're gonna cost you, okay? Mm. Straight people are losing their minds over them. I feel bad for the husband. Look, if you want Che Diaz to do a show, fine. There can be absolutely no chairs. Everyone must be standing. No jokes. It'll keep people wanting more. That green room better be green. I mean fresh, because Che Diaz is gonna want to do weed. This is a comedy concert. Hey, Jake. Podcast numbers are starting to drop. I think Che Diaz needs to finger someone on air. What? If Che Diaz wants to grow weed in the lobby, you let. So what I want to 
wanted to bring up to you guys first is that there's no sex in the city without the sex, you know what I mean? So what I'm thinking is we need Carrie single. What if she falls out of love? How about he cheats on her? How about we fucking kill him? On a Peloton. Why a Peloton? Because, Nancy, it's not fair that they fucking rank you. I should be working out for myself, not a goddamn leaderboard. On whole, obviously Carrie would call 911, so that wouldn't even fucking work. No. Carrie never calls 911. She doesn't even fucking think about it. Who's here for a season two of Ed Just Like That? I know what you're thinking, really, bitch? Really? I mean, look, we all hate Miranda. Not not a soul believes that Steve at 55 can't find either one of his hearing aids. They're stuck in the cushion and he's that deaf. And of course, Che Diaz will probably be back and they'll have a deal with Spotify for $100 million, even though they have the worst podcast of all time. Not a shot in hell that Kim Cattrall's ever coming back because she and SJP can't get along. But what else are we going to hate watch? Hey guys, I just thought it'd be fun to put together some and just like that TikTok. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, looking forward to coming back with some more recaps soon. Got all kinds of stuff I'm working on. I know Johnny Depp, Amber Heard has consumed a lot of the channel lately, but as that comes to an end, we got lots of good stuff coming up. So check back and let me know if you want to see more like this. Uh, do hit that thanks button if you're so inclined. I still have Patreon going strong. Check that out. It's patreon.com backslash Real Housewives Recaps. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.